Hello, I'm Luke Nellar and welcome to Best Few Plays of the Week. This week we have a strange looking steel wall, a crucial contribution from a rare tank, and a defender running out of time. Let's battle! Let's start with a scout game for a change. 357 Prometheus from the EU region joins a tier 11 standard battle at Malinavka and shows us how it's done. Prometheus AMX 3090 goes forward to take a peek and gets spotted right away. Keeping the E100 lit up is worth the risk though. An object 140 backs into view, presenting a perfect target. The rival AMX is also on offer, but Prometheus has already started a reload. Hmm, the scout is still there, and it seems to be going for the arty. The AMX receives three shells from the fresh magazine, and an ally puts it out of its misery. The rest of the mag is hammered into enemies pushing down from the hill, and the reload is spent keeping them spotted. That's the object from before! Promethe pounces from ambush and a full magazine is just enough to finish off the tier 10 medium. The team has the momentum now, and our scout goes ahead to find the enemies. Playing peekaboo around the rock works great, and there's even an opportunity to pick up a kill. These guys are done aside from the arty. A quick dash through the forest takes care of all three, and the game is over. The team was struggling early on, but good scouting turned things around. Dishing out all that damage sure didn't hurt either. Staying in the EU region, we have a fire ant and a rather strange looking T28 concept. Let's see how it will take the Pummelay. The battle is an encounter on Ruinburg, and the TD is on top tier. Fire Ant pushes north on the eastern road and dives straight into combat. So far so good. The armor is holding up well, and there has been the opportunity to pick up a few kills. Fire Ant ignores the incoming fire and heads for the capture zone across open ground. When the T-28 gets into the city, it's like a fox has been let loose on the chickens. The Churchill is all that's left of the opposition. One last shell finishes off the doomed machine and seals the win with seven kills. A nice and mobile steel wall, with a lot of damage dealt as well as blocked. It's still one strange looking TD though. Now let's move over to the American servers for this week's dose of mayhem. Our top gun goes by the catchy name 77011412. 77011412? Maybe 77,011,412? Hmm. Our top gun goes by the catchy name of 770 and drives the black German bulldog on Lakeville. 770 dashes to the city, drives away one enemy scout and kills another. A head-on clash with a tier 9 heavy is a good reminder that a light tank should look for softer prey. Like this thin-skinned Frenchie, or a super Pershing showing its soft side. Actually, even the VK is okay from this angle. Trading long-range fire with a Super Pershing is not ideal, but it does help an ally kill it. There are good targets in the enemy base, but the Jagdiger is awake and a little bulldog has to be cautious. This is not working. 770 abandons the attempt and drives all the way around to the other flank. It's too late to save the Ferdinand, but both enemies get punished for what they've done. That leaves three top tier opponents to deal with. 770 heads back to the eastern flank and finds the enemies looking the wrong way. The Waffenträger gets dismantled at long range. And then it's time to go and kill the Kappa. The Arty gets spotted on the way, but it will have to wait. 
The Jagdiger misses its opening shot and 770 tracks the massive enemy. It uses a repair kit, however, and the next tracking shot fails. The Bulldog can't take another hit like that. This tracking shot works. The Jagdiger goes down, and victory depends on the arty hunt. The Bulldog races all the way around and finds the enemy on the southern edge of the map. GG. A 9-kill carry with tons of damage. Good work, James. Uh, I mean, uh, double seven zero. Back to the EU region for a Defender replay starring Jameson07 and the American T29. The map is Abbey, and as always, it's nice to be on the top tier. Of course, this time everybody else got on top tier as well. Jameson heads east and helps the team wreck a trio of Tigers. An IS tries to make trouble, but it doesn't go well for the enemy. A KV-3 volunteers as the first kill just as the defender's instinct sends Jameson back to defend the base. The T-29 climbs to a good vantage point and ambushes the IS. On the map, the situation looks great, but the defender is not convinced. There are two enemy heavies at the base. The Tiga Porsche gets through to the Arty, but Jameson manages to reset the capture. The Allied capture is advancing quickly, while Jameson is busy killing the Tiga. Is the game about to be won? Of course not! The friendly cappers die in the enemy base, while our defender tries to find a chink in the Onni's armor. Finally, a shot goes through the secondary turret, and a follow-up hit puts the massive heavy down for good. There's a second T-29 putting pressure on the opposition, but it dies before Jameson can join the fight. It's all up to the defender now. The Black Prince should go down with a shot, but it survives with a single hit point. It doesn't really matter, as it dies without doing any damage anyway. Somebody else takes a shot while Jameson sets up to kill the IS-2. The Heavy is still toast. Jameson goes for the capture, but an enemy is faster by a handful of seconds. The defender has to race the capture bar and hope the T-29 is fast enough. There's an IS lying in ambush, forcing Jameson to stand and fight. There's no way to stop the capture now. But wait! The RT fires, revealing its position! The defender picks it off with a steady shot and saves the day against all odds. The IS could still win this with a single good hit, but somehow finishing it off is a mere formality at this point. Good game! Thanks for playing! Wow, talk about getting greedy and throwing away the victory. Sometimes even the best players depend on the enemies making a mistake. The final replay comes from the Asian region and features the mysterious T23E3 in a crucial contribution. The owner of this rare machine is Kenoto, and the match is a tier 8 encounter battle on Himmelsdorf. Kinoto starts the fight by taking down a Cromwell at long range. The hill is heavily contested by the enemies, but a little killing spree soon sorts that out. The Tiger Ain is distracted. It's too good an opportunity to pass by. When it finally decides to fight back, an engine fire kills it before it gets a shot off. Excellent! The Japanese Tiger doesn't do any better. Nor does the second one. Going straight for an OI could be a mistake. Luckily, the shell hits a trap, and Kenito's tank slides into cover. The heavy retreats after taking a beating, but that just delays the inevitable. Its time is up as soon as Kenoto is free to chase after it. The VK doesn't think to rotate its hull, making this an easy kill. Inoto would like to go elsewhere, but a couple of enemies disagree. The Comet manages to do some damage, but the ELC misses and pays with its life. It's time to sort out the Kappas. The reset comes at a high cost in hit points, but the enemies are now down to two. The enemy Comet seems to have abandoned the capture, and look at that! 
the Allied IS has finally loaded into the battle. The IS goes for a cap and gets challenged by the Comet. Kenoto arrives just in time to put in the finishing touch. That leaves a Hummel, which goes for a shotgun charge at the IS. Kenoto peppers it with a few shots on the way and finishes it off moments later. Complete. A nice workout for an unusual tank. 11 kills, defender, steel wall, and so forth. Well done, Kenoto. That's it for this week. It seems half the players these days use a random number generator to pick their nicknames. Maybe try sending in a pronunciation guide when you submit, eh? Well, keep sending in your replays. I'm Luke Nella, and I'll see you next time. The Waffen Taraga gets. Is it Taraga? Traeger. Damn it. Jäger Traeger. The Waffen Traeger gets. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> See, I'm gonna say Tiger, not Tiger, because it's Japanese, not German. I O I O O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I O I